Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the latest catalyst drivers for your ATI or AMD video card 10.12. Over the years, they've enhanced the drivers, the interface, how to control and modify and tweak your video card with your ATI video card. Now AMD has come out with the latest preview drivers 10.12. You can go ahead and download those. They were just released yesterday and uh, I've gone ahead and downloaded those for my Windows 7 here and I'm going to try them out has some new improvements on easily accessing different features so the design has changed it's got a search feature DivX support so that the GPU does more of the uh, processing instead of the CPU OpenGL 4.2 AMD Stream 2.3 SDK support so different options have been added in there um, but it's more about the new user interface the design of the Catalyst Control Center installing it is still the same that's no biggie if you're gonna go ahead and install this I recommend that you uninstall your current drivers and reinstall these okay don't install on top here we go going through the ATI or AMD now as it's called control center the catalyst control center the options to accessing what was there before in the previous version of the Catalyst Control Center have been moved around. The interface is different. You can add shortcuts here on the left. On the right hand side you've got your preferences on adjusting the views and things like that. Accessing your display and tweaking things is pretty straightforward. You just click on the option that you want to tweak and change and then access for example adding more displays if you have uh, the Ifinity and things like that set up. That's still the same it's just where they position those options and uh, you can pin these on the left hand side if you want if you access them quite often but still these screens really haven't changed too much okay it's still when you get into those options it still looks the same it's just now they've categorized and uh, moved things around so that it's a little bit easier to find what you want to uh, to change so video quality for example it's under video and under there you would go in and adjust your video settings and they've got advanced quality settings that you can manipulate and change a little bit around so certain things have been improved obviously but um, a lot of the screens are still the same so for example your 3d settings screens these are really the same as before they've just moved it around a little bit and um, separated them. So under gaming and performance, you get into options that are relating to improving your gaming, okay? Like overclocking your video card, for example. That has not really changed. That is still the same options. They haven't really changed that. And that's really what this whole Catalyst Control Center, this preview is about. It's about moving things around, improving the interface for you. Um, I've run some benchmarks. It didn't really make a difference. Okay, 10.2. Uh, sorry, 10.12 compared to 10.11, which I had previously, no difference really in uh, in the benchmarks. So that's not what this is all about. It's more about adding s new support for new video cards, new support for new technologies, in making the interface look better, more intuitive, accessing things uh, quicker, basically, so that way you can find what you want. Um, without having to search and, and look around and waste too much time. So that's what this is about. It's going to take a little bit to get used to, but once you're used to it, it's straightforward. They're going to continue to improve the uh, UI improvements. So the user interface, the Affinity support, all of that in the next release in January coming out, hopefully we'll see some more enhancements to these uh, Catalyst Control Center drivers from AMD. So anyways, if you want to download it, I'll put the link on the bottom here of the video in the description. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.